We have this prophecy called the time of the seventh fire. We're told that we have a choice between two paths. No tankers on Lake Superior, no pipelines in northern Minnesota. The company that wants to bring it over here is called the Amherst Company. It's going to totally destroy the rice beds of this area. It also goes through the rice beds on the White Earth Reservation. It goes through Big Rice Lake. This looks like a really old book, Mom. Yeah, it looks like last century. We're still preoccupied with the early photos of Winona. They're so funny. We're in a situation which is kind of called extreme. It's extreme behavior. That's when you no longer want conventional oil, and instead you want to go get oil from the tar sands in Canada. We've got to basically destroy an entire ecosystem the size of Florida to shove it in some pipelines to down here. Or you want to frack North Dakota, put a bunch of radioactive water and destroyed aquifers out there and see how people can live. Or you want to do some other crazy stuff. Because we live directly in front of the refinery. On one end of my street, we have an oil pipeline. At the other end, a hydrogen. Pipeline. Can you imagine? We live on a bomb. And so what I will tell you is, is that I'm a pretty normal person, probably unlike, you know, like the rest of you. I'm a grandmother. I've raised six children. They're not all mine. I uh, have eight kids who call me grandma. And the fact is, is that this company, Enbridge, has had over 800 spills in the past decade. If that pipeline spills, it's 20,000 gallons a minute as well as be going and discharging in, into our territory. You know, and they're going to keep saying you're yeah, crazy. Yeah, and that's why it's so important that the bands are saying, you know, you guys are not fair, you're not listening to us, and you don't get to do that. This is 2015. This is not 1870.